What's up, OPB crew? Look, it's a guest overview from me, BJ Kicks from Comics Are Dope. Today, we are looking at the Hip Hop Family Tree Omnibus by Ed Piscor, printed by Fantagraphics Press and published by Fantagraphics, or this volume at least. This started as a webcomic. It is a chronological uh, history, a super jam-packed history of basically hip hop's first decade. If you've ever been curious about early 70s to 80s hip hop, this series has you covered. Let's go ahead. I did enough talking during the overview, so let's jump to that. All right, jabronis, the time has come. We are looking at the Hip Hop Family Tree Omnibus, written and drawn by Ed Piscor, uh, published by Fantagraphics Press. This is amazing. First of all, it's the 50th anniversary of hip hop. It's the perfect time for a book like this to come out, and I'm really excited that I have it. Uh, now, this, uh, just real quick for overview and comparison's sake, this is an oversized hardcover. Uh, as you can see, it's taller and wider than a standard uh, comic book, like regular floppy comic book, um, compared to a Marvel Omnibus real quick. And here it is compared to a DC Deluxe Edition, which is also the same size as the Marvel Omnibus. So you can see exact same height. The uh, hardcover board is actually a little bit wider on this, but the pages themselves are not. So very cool stuff. It's an oversized hardcover. This was, it's an oversized hardcover. Now this was previously available in treasury editions and like a box set of treasury editions, which were way bigger, like about the size of a DC absolute. I like this compact form factor and I think they make up for the compact nature of it with all the extras that we'll talk about real soon. Let's flip over to the back. Um, I didn't even mention, first of all, on this cover, uh, we've got this really beautiful, like gold foil effect featuring this sort of who's who of hip hop luminaries in the background. And here in the foreground is Grandmaster Flash, uh, you know, pioneering hip hop DJ. Uh, it's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me want to out. You can go anyway. That's Grandmaster Flash. Uh, so opening this up. Well, first, let's look at the back just so you can see. Just some praise for the book and a uh, a quick synopsis of what we're seeing. This is an entertaining encyclopedic history of the formative years of the music genre that changed global culture. The series has been a worldwide phenomenon and perennial bestseller since the first volume was published in 2013, spawning multiple printings and 14 spinoff comic books. Really dope. Uh, never been collected all in one cover. So this brings the full 360 page original series with nearly 150 pages of additional content. Really, really dope. This is a book. It's like I said, it's basically like the oral history of the first 10 to 12 years of hip hop. Um, and it's a must. This is a must. This is so well researched. We're going to get into it. Uh, nice uh, end pages here. End pages look like the galaxy which uh, reminds me of the song Planet Rock by Africa Bambata and the Soul Sonic Force, which will make an appearance in this book as well. Biz Marquis says this is the best comic of all time. Actually, it just says this is the comic of all time. <laughs> I wonder if that's misquoted or if he said it that way. Man, RIP, because nobody beats the Biz. Uh, Daryl McDaniels, DMC of Run DMC. It's not just doing a comic book, he's doing a piece of history. And yes, that's exactly what this is. This is a history book. This is research directly from like basically hip hop textbooks and firsthand accounts uh, to really create a compelling narrative. So first half of this book, about 200, you know, 300 pages or so uh, is the hip hop family tree book. Um, and then everything after page 379 is extras, which is just amazing. Over 500 pages in this volume, cover price is 75 bucks. Let's get into it. We got quotes from all sorts of hip hop luminaries, an intro by Charlie Ahern. And now, Hip Hop Family Tree, book one, 1973 to 1981. Now, if you guys don't know, DJ Cool Herc, the godfather of hip hop. Now, a little bit about Ed Piscor. A lot of you might know Ed Piscor from cartoonist Kayfabe, or uh, my introduction to Ed Piscor was actually his X-Men Grand Design book, which looks a lot like this. I didn't know this at the time, but this book predates X-Men Grand Design. So X-Men Grand Design tries to take all of 
the history of X-Men, like Claremont X-Men and other stuff, condense it into one book and place it in a chronological history so you can read straight through like one story. Really cool concept. And then along the way, he does all sorts of annotations and um like bibliographies and, and, and footnotes so that you can find out where the original information came from if you want to go further down the rabbit hole. But the whole idea of breaking something down like that, some huge chunk of history and, uh, you know, condensing it, he started that with this. This is Hip Hop Family Tree. And so we're seeing like we got the early days of like radio DJs and disco and the disco culture and record men. Uh, but we're also seeing the formative years of hip hop culture. We're learning about uh, how b-boying got started, break dancing. We're learning what the break was, who created uh, break beats and DJing in the way that we know it now with two turntables and a mixer. Uh, parties at the community center at 1520 Sedgwick in New York, park jams all the way up to Records being made, the Sugar Hill Gang, Rapper's Delight, so, so many different uh, key points in hip hop history. This is basically a history of like 10 years, specifically in New York, but uh, also surrounding areas as well. We get appearances from people like uh, Grandmaster Flash, the Furious Five, DJ Cool Herc, Africa Bambada. Um, we also get appearances from Russell Simmons, uh, founder of Def Jam, Rick Rubin, LL Cool J, The Fresh Prince, Jazzy Jeff, uh, freaking everybody who is anybody. Curtis Blow, Shock G from Digital Underground, Run DMC, of course. <laughs> There's Russell Simmons right there. Man, RIP to Jam Master J. Man, if you are a fan of hip hop as a culture, as a subculture of music, this book is like a must by book like you you have to have this in your collection even if you don't read comics like i don't know why you'd be watching this channel if you don't read comics but you need this in your life i promise you do um and all around we're getting like these introductions to who people are mca mike diamond adam horowitz from uh the beastie boys Curtis Blow, Rick Rubin, Russell Simmons. This is the earliest days of Def Jam. Uh, but we're getting these introductions. It's almost like it kind of is like uh, Claremont's X-Men in a way where everybody, people are just kind of popping in and out. You're being introduced to them as you need to be introduced to them. But it's all in story format. The amount of hip hop culture and just people that he's able to cram into these books is insane. Um, I mean, you can see these dialogue boxes are packed with history. Everything that's in bold is something important from history, like real history. This is a really, really well done. Now, what you might have noticed already is that this is printed on a newsprint uh, type paper. And uh, even more than that, it was designed that way. Uh, he talks about in uh, the afterword how he sampled basically old comic book pages and colors to make sure that this looked as much like a comic from the 80s as possible. What I really love is just how this just, this treats the, <laughs> cool DJ Red Alert, yeah, but anyway, um, th this just treats everybody in hip hop like they are a superhero. Maybe except Russell Simmons. He's, he's the one dude that you're looking at like, yo, like, what you got against Russell Simmons, man? That is hilarious. But I mean, it's, it's great. It is great. Um, so I mean, Curtis Blow, LL Cool J, so many people. I also love the way that it looks like when you're in a hip hop party. He's got this like sort of 3D effect, but without the glasses. So you can see it. The music is just rattling everything around. Run DMC once again. It's just this book is amazing. And I could sit here and thumb through every little page. And I probably would if I didn't need to save some time. I didn't want to make this a 30 minute video. There's LL again. The fat boys. We, we got 
that's a movement. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the art itself, like just uh, it, Ed Piscor's art style is amazing. Like everyone looks like themselves, but it's like this cartoonish, like underground comics inspired art style. It's like great likenesses and also caricatures. Like, I don't know. It's like there's so many people like you can tell who they are if you've ever seen them without being introduced in a lot of cases. Uh, so, I mean, that's just, that's amazing in and of itself. Um, sheesh. <laughs> you get some really gnarly looking images as well. Like I said, Ed Piscor is, um, inspired by underground comics. People like R. Crumb. And so you can, you can see that here, but this is also like, it's a dramatic documentary. If you are a fan of movies like Beat Street or Wild Style, like this, this is right up your alley. And it's just in time for the 40th anniversary, excuse me, 50th anniversary of hip hop this year, 2023. There's even cool stuff like this, like stuff you can get lost in. There's playlist referencing specific songs that you need to go and look up uh, if you're trying to learn about Run DMC. There's this uh, nice little feature talking about MTV and how they never played uh, black people on MTV until Michael Jackson and Prince. Um, there's just a lot of musical history here. Uh, me being a hip hop fan, me being someone who studied hip hop at in school. Um, I interned for Ninth Wonder, who is a record producer that you're probably familiar with. If you listen to any sort of underground hip hop at all, but you would also know that he is a master hip hop historian. He literally like teaches hip hop at Harvard and some of the same resources that he uses are referenced in this book. So it's a really well re uh, researched volume. It's condensed. It's not too long. It's not too condensed. It's not boring. It's just 300 pages of hip hop history. It's really dope. Really dope. Let's skip on over, though. I want to skip. Uh, I'll leave you guys to see some of this stuff on your own. I won't spoil anything else, but I'm going to skip to these extras, starting with the cover gallery. And this cover gallery just features uh, once they start, they did the first original four volumes, which is this. Right. And then they released this as single issues after they did the Treasury editions. Right. But every time they went back to print, Ed Piscor did like new artwork. So we get to see even people that aren't covered within the pages of the books. You get to see them represented on these covers. So like all of hip hop is here. I mean, there's the fat boys, there's Criss Cross, Flavor Flav, Public Enemy, but there's Kanye. Like what's Kanye doing there? NWA, Notorious B.I.G., Boogie Down Productions, Tupac makes an appearance. There's Russell Simmons again. Uh, like this, it's amazing. And then you even get this character key so you can pick out who all these people are. Really, really cool stuff. And here we go with those variant covers. Like I said, covering people that in some cases weren't actually in the book. We get homage variants showing off, uh, homaging the X-Men on both of these pages here. Really dope. Oh, this is also an X-Men homage. This homaging uh, the first appearance of the Punisher. Very cool. Um, man, I love that LL cover. He uh, posted this for sale on whatnot or something. I didn't have any money, so I couldn't do anything with that. But there are so many amazing extras. And like I said, one thing I just love is seeing these hip hop luminaries like represented as superheroes. How awesome is that? We've also got splash pages. And this is stuff that I, if I'm not mistaken, was not collected anywhere else. So you get these splash pages that originally showed up in the single issues that these were reprinted under. And that's dope. We got these trading card designs, MC Hammer, Slick Rick, uh, Humpty Hump, AKA Shock G from Digital Underground, Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys, OD ODB, uh, Quasimodo, which is that spelled? That's, that's spelled correctly. That's how uh, Quasimodo spells his name. Uh, if you didn't know, Quasimodo is also the producer Mad Lib, but this is, he raps as this like cartoon Quasimodo. Really cool. And Birdman, <laughs> put some respect on my name. 
all three of y'all. <laughs> oh man, we got a photo gallery. I mean, is that is that Debbie Harry from Blondie? That's amazing. That is Debbie Harry from Blondie. Fab Five Freddy, Africa Bambata. Sheesh, man. If you're a hip-hop head, there's no way you don't put this book in your collection. You need this book so bad. And Ed Piscor did such an amazing job. We get this director's commentary. And he's really breaking down all sorts of aspects of this book. Gosh, man, this is so amazing. I'll, uh, I'll skip some of this so that you guys can enjoy it on your own. We got footnotes. So everything that he couldn't fit in the pages of the book, he explains in these uh, footnotes, which is also amazing. MF Doom, RIP to Doom. And then we got the bibliography. So he not only shows you like what books where he like researched this stuff, but he's also got like movies that he watched to prepare for this. And then all the music that's referenced in here is there as well. That's just awesome. And here's the roll call sort of character guide for everybody who's featured in this book. I cannot praise this book enough. Like this book is amazing. If you're a hip hop fan, you need to buy it. If you're curious about the roots of hip hop culture, you need to buy it. If you've never, ever wanted to know anything about hip hop, start here. You can start with a bunch of textbooks. You can start with uh, the big payback by Jeff Chang. You can start with a lot of different things, but start with this. Start with this. My bad. Jeff Chang didn't write the big payback. That was Can't Stop, Won't Stop that Jeff Chang wrote. The big payback was Dan Charnas. But anyway, this, you can start with this and then make your way to the big boy hip hop textbooks. This overview has been way too long, but I wanted you to see it. You can grab this book at Organic Price Books. Be sure to say my name at checkout. You can save a little bit of cash and I'll see you guys in another review real soon. Thanks for having me. Peace.